My name is Lynn Garnier. I live at 125 West Road in Pasco, and mine is also going to be a little bit emotional <laughs> and personal. Um, I lived on Eagle Peak when the, we had the MBTE accident, and my family was consuming and washing and everything in this, in, in this water. And my son, Steve, you know my son Jeremy, came down with a rare disease called sarcoidosis. And it usually, it, it's a very rare disease and it usually only attacks African Americans. But my son in his 20s has come down with this disease. First they thought he had cancer because the lymph nodes were going so fast around his lungs. But no, after they did a two inch hole in his chest to go down into his lungs and get his lymph nodes, they found it was sarcoid. This is a disease he will have for the rest of his life. It was because of the carcinogens, and the carcinogens you want to put back in our area by using this water. <laughs> this is my son, this is my family. Steve, you've known me my whole life. You've known my kids. If you were me, you'd be fighting for this right now too. And another thing, yeah, you want to put that all in our air, you want to pollute it. Well, why don't we talk about the water, well, the lake. You want to save jobs, you want to bring jobs into the town. You realize if that water gets tainted, half the town is going to lose their jobs because their arena will shut down. Yep. That is the sole source of water. My husband runs that water, water treatment plant. Here, maybe I'll just read something from the Department of Health. The Rattle Department of Health, in cooperation with other state and federal agencies, has assessed the threats to the Ellen Slater Hospital's Zamorano Unit water supply sources. The assessment considered the intensity of development, the presence of business and facilities that use, store, or generate potential contaminants, how easily contaminants may move through the soils in the source water protection area, and the sampling history of the water. Our monitoring program continues to assure that the water distributed through the Zamorano camp campus is safe to drink. However, the assessment found that the water source is at moderate risk of contamination. This means the water could one day become contaminated. Monitoring and protection efforts are necessary to assure continued water quality. The complete source water assessment report is available from the Elena Slater Hospital Unit or the Department of Health. My husband has to do this every year. He measures that lake. He has to make the drinking water for that hospital. And you guys want to contaminate it? You want to shut down those jobs? They're union jobs. They're state jobs. They pay our taxes in town. They pay your taxes. Jesus. Why don't you save the jobs that are in our town? And of course, I'm also going to have to say something. Yes, I do. Go ahead. You say we want that. We don't want that. Then why aren't you saying, why didn't you say that to the Senate? Then let us sit there in front of the Senate and get this. Yeah, yeah. The Senate has yeah. nothing to do with whether or not that plant was going yes, to be it built. Did. Yes, it did. It was did. whether or not there was going to be a vote allowed regarding a tax agreement. You wrote that. I want to hear from them, not you, really. I don't. But this, we need this. We need to save the jobs in this town. And I was hope, hope you, all, you all people know how uh, Zamborano runs. It, 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 half the town works there. The state workers, union workers. Those are the jobs we need to save. Can I have that statement anywhere? Is that okay? Sure. I'm all glad to send every board member to a copy of that June conference report. Yes. Yeah.